In our mouths, we have something precious. Our natural teeth. At the time a tooth erupts in the mouth, its root has not fully grown and it takes time to reach its final length and strength. In fact, it takes about three years after a tooth has erupted before root formation is complete. During this period of time, the root walls are thin and fragile. A functional dental pulp is essential for normal root development. However, the dental pulp can be injured and die before the root is fully formed, leading to infection and pain in the tissues around the teeth, particularly the jawbone. In children and adolescents, the main cause for an injured pulp is dental trauma. A traumatic accident may cause tooth fracture or displace the tooth, changing its position. The teeth that are most often affected by dental trauma are the upper front teeth, which erupt between six to eight years of age. If the pulp dies before root formation is complete, this process stops and the root remains incomplete. Due to their unusual root shape, immature teeth require special treatment. The treatment includes cleaning dead pulp tissue from the inside of the tooth root and filling it with a special material that is not harmful to the bony tissue it will contact at the end of the root. The rest of the canal is filled with a synthetic material. This treatment is called an apical plug and leads to healing of infections, which means the tooth can be saved in most cases. However, the thin root walls remain fragile, which leaves the tooth prone to fracture. The earlier during root development the dental pulp is lost, the thinner and shorter the root walls. Within the last few years, a new treatment option has emerged for these cases. Entodontists call this treatment revitalization or regenerative endodontic treatment. Like the apical plug, it is indicated in immature teeth with dead pulps. The first part of the treatment includes cleaning from the inside of the root. This step is the same as when we place an apical plug or during conventional root canal treatment. Once the inflammation has subsided, your dentist will gently encourage a healthy blood clot to form in the root canal, which is then covered with a safe non-toxic material before restoring the tooth as normal. The blood clot inside the tooth can induce formation of new biological tissue inside the tooth, repopulating the space which was originally filled by the dental pulp. The newly formed tissue may not be exactly the same as the original pulp, but there is a possibility of further root development, resulting in increased length and thickness of the root and help the immature tooth become stronger. As revitalization is a relatively new treatment option, we cannot yet answer all questions regarding the long-term survival of the treated tooth. But we have good evidence that it works just as well as the apical plug in terms of healing and tooth survival. The treatment should achieve a biological root filling and is the least invasive treatment option. If your child experiences dental trauma or infection with subsequent loss of the dental pulp in the affected tooth, ask your dentist about revitalization. Around the world, millions of endodontic treatments are performed every year with very high success rates, preserving natural teeth, relieving pain and healing disease. If you have a dental problem, ask about endodontic treatment. Preserve something precious, your natural teeth.